Good morning for my last day in my home. Look what I see. It feels really surreal, but this is my last day in my home. I'm subletting it for a few months to a NGO worker who's moving in later today. And I'm pretty much all packed, let me show you. I've left my big stuff and like some of the things I'll keep are back there, but this is empty for her. I'm gonna bring that with me, some like snacks. The maid's gonna come in a few hours, so everything will be clean. So it doesn't look like I'm moving out yet, but I assure you, if you look in the closets, everything's empty. It's uh, a little bit surreal. Basically, she's gonna be taken over for the whole winter. I mean, she's happy because now she's living basically in a hotel and a lot of these NGO workers, they spend a lot. I don't know what she specifically spends, but people at the Hilton were paying like 200 to 300 bucks a night or something. It was a rip off. Like, so it's always better when they get it in an actual apartment. She's renting mine for 1600 a month, which gives me about $55 a day to live somewhere else. And luckily, uh, wherever I'm going, I'm going to be spending less than that on accommodation, so I'm actually going to be profiting from it. And I uh, also won't be basic zero degrees. <laughs> but luckily it's warm in the house, right? So she'll be toasting in here. All right, I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to finish cleaning and packing. And if you're curious about all the clothes, it's down here, guys. I love this bed. Hi, Annalena. Hello. Excuse me. Hey, Emily. Want to introduce you to Elena? Hello. She's the house cleaner, and I will introduce you guys through chat. So hopefully, you'll you'll meet uh, in person soon. <laughs> nice to meet you. The, get this place ready for. Oh, nothing. I'm. We need you. We're getting this place ready. I think you said. Let's go. Need you. Oh, good luck, blessing. Burn a candle before I leave. Uh, I just happened to be downstairs getting a key made to see with the tenant and the air alarm as well, so. I guess I'm in the safest place possible. Man, I hope that she doesn't uh, complain and say there's no electricity or water and wants to move out early or something. But then again, I'm pretty sure she knows what she's getting into. She's here to crane already. Well, unfortunately, nobody can copy this old ass key. Uh, so I have, I have one, my house cleaner have one. So I'll give mine to the tenant, and then actually I won't have any of my own keys when I'm gone, which feels a bit weird, but I guess it is what it is. Well, nobody seems to be waiting in the shelter, so I decided to come up and enjoy some of this sun. And, uh, snow but you know still sunny Oof, I am so cold I didn't even really need to go outside today I just did it to give my house cleaner some room to finish up so I've been standing there just on Instagram scrolling for the last half an hour now I'm so cold so I'm gonna go back in and hope she's done proper proper winter day guys she got the fur on Say it again, say it again. Uh, Elena, thank you very much. I oh, will miss you. Thank you. Uh, I wish you a very nice uh, field trip mm -hmm. and the very nice weather and the amazing new friend and the uh, very best all everything and back in Kyiv. Exactly. I hope you are safe in yes, Kyiv also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I hope right, uh, I see you <laughs> it's just a bunch of chocolates and cookies, but enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> this garbage too? 
Uh, no, no, I will. Uh, this is my food. <laughs> it looks like orange. No, I don't know, but they see it's like, you know, half eaten. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. I'll see you next time. Yeah, see two you. months. Bye <laughs> bye. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Well, the house is clean now. I should just not mess it up. <laughs> this is all I'm bringing with me, one bag, and then this is a bunch of like half-eaten food that I'm gonna bring with me. Everything here is basically gone. I'll bring that jacket, and then this one I'll put under the bed. But basically, uh, there should be some room. That's Nick's, I'm holding it for him. Hopefully the tenant doesn't mind. And, living room it's clean it smells nice actually yeah everything is clean say goodbye to my house this is actually uh something i found this was like a, a pass from Mariupol that let that family that will stay in my house get through so uh, i'm gonna put this in somewhere safe Cause this like even though it's just a piece of paper, this literally was like Russia's ticket. Like you you can live if you don't have this, you die. Hmm. Uh, we finish this kimchi. Wash that pan. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, the nice thing about having a pretty minimalist house is uh, as soon as I like grab my clothes and stuff, everything's uh. Everything's pretty much done, guys. I'm gonna go to Odessa tonight on the night train, 9.17, I think. I'm gonna stay there for a week, and then actually I'm gonna slowly make my way to Thailand. That's my plan, so let's see how it goes. First, I gotta finish eating all these leftovers that's been in my fridge for a week. I don't wanna throw it out. It's so good. Well, guys, this is it. My train leaves in about two hours. My tenant, I guess, the person I'm renting my apartment to is coming right now. She'll be here in a few minutes. So this is me saying goodbye to my apartment. Hopefully we'll be in the same condition when I get back. This is all I'm bringing with me for the next few months. Not crazy. And just this one, one lonely jacket, guys. All the stuff's gonna stay here. <laughs> well, she just moved her stuff in, guys. She's gonna get her last bag. Yeah, she doesn't have that much stuff either because she's she's like not from here, right? obviously. Uh, I think she was living in a hotel before, but she's moving in for hopefully at least a few months. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, nice walk. Well, you know, yeah. it's whole life. Well, guys, that is it. Is uh, me leaving my house. So yeah. goodbye. Bring you some home. Yeah. Take care. Uh, bye bye. bye. Here we go, guys. I am uh, on my way to the train station. Do overnight to Odessa, and now I'm officially homeless. Rent out my home. Uh, I do got a little one in the bank now, which is good. What I don't have is proper shoes for winter, because where I'm going is not gonna be snowing. So hopefully this doesn't get wet on the way to the train station. By the way, I just saw the reports from Odessa that they had a huge snowstorm there a few days ago and the roads were completely destroyed there. So I think it'll be okay by the time they get there, but I hope it's not gonna cause any delays with the train. I hope it's gonna be okay once I get there. station guys Ooh, it's cold guys it is cold going from minus four to plus four to maybe plus 34 we'll see you guys follow the journey I'm just glad I don't have to walk in this slush anymore
Goodbye, Keeve. I do love you, but I don't love this winter. We are here, but I still have uh, at least half an hour, so I'm gonna hang out a little bit. Hopefully, some more warm. That's my train. Keep Odessa track one. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. A ton of people waiting around. Crazy. There's not a single fucking seat. I can't tell if it's people just putting their bags there or really there's no seats. There's an area. Oh, just got chunked. What are you gonna do? Well, guys, not a single place to sit, so I guess I'm gonna go in the cold. That's crazy, guys. It's so busy here. I still got 35 minutes, but there's a small chance the train's already here. So let's go, let's go check. This is it, to Odessa. Yep. I think we're here, guys. Be on 1111. Everyone's so cold. I do not sit. Hello, Storvicker. Oh, that's right, huh? All right. There you go, first one on, guys. Oh. I guess it was good that I didn't have a seat. Because why wait there when I can be in this comfortable trip by myself? This is the first time I actually have a bottom bunk too. I almost never get the bottom bunk because they're all sold out first. And uh, to be honest, the top bunk's actually more comfortable to sleep in. Like a little bit wider, but. Yeah, I guess th this one's designed better, but normally that would block. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Strong Ukrainian woman. <laughs> All right, we are just taking off now, guys. <clears throat> okay, so think about what song you'll sing for me, and I'll come <laughs> back and we'll make a concert. <laughs> but now I need to brush my teeth. <laughs> Too bad. 
the song? Hi, John. <laughs> Seeing that I'm prepared for now. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. Good morning. Ceremony. Well, we have coffee ceremony. Good morning. <laughs> Dory Renaka. <laughs> Welcome to Odessa. <laughs> yeah. It's so beautiful out here. Yeah, with the snow and it does, it's very beautiful. It never snows in Odessa normally, right? Like, it's not common. It's not common, but we have sometimes. In the last year, we had to do the snow. But really? Yeah. yeah it, it was only a few days. Well, I think today will also be just just today, and then it'll melt. I think this winter will be more snow. Well, I hope you have <laughs> electricity this winter. <laughs> <laughs> was it bad in Odessa last year with, with uh, blackouts? Uh, uh, with, uh, was it uh, blackouts last winter, like without electricity? Yes, yes. And it was a and when it heat you had heat or no? No, no. Wow. Very, you know when it just came to Romania, I started to, when I was speaking with my friends uh -huh. there. They just you know just have problem with electricity. Uh, so. Well, I hope this year is better. <laughs> yes, this will be. They promise this. This will be much better. <laughs> <laughs> Russia promised that uh, he they will stop bombing. <laughs> It's crazy. So, we made it to Odessa. I left Kiev to try to get away from the snow. I want it to warmer. My voice is just I know. Didn't even bring like my boots. I just brought like uh, tennis shoes. So I thought it would be warm. Okay. All right, my new friend just left, and I'm gonna take a taxi uh, out of this freezing cold to my Airbnb. So unfortunately, we are a little bit late. We're like probably oh, I think we're an hour late. Oh my god, we're an hour late uh, because of the train situation yesterday. The roads were all jammed, and I guess it also messed up some of the tracks for some of the scheduling. A severe snowstorm caused havoc in Ukraine on Monday. This video from Ukrainian authorities shows what it was like out on the roads. Hundreds of cars and trucks were stuck in snowdrifts, some over six feet high. Heftiger Schneesturm rund um die ukrainische Hafenstadt Odessa. Die Behörden warnen die Bevölkerung vor Reisen in und aus der Stadt. Lokale Medien berichten von unbestutzten Bäumen und Verkehrsunfällen. Der Schneesturm machte Abschnitte der Verbindungsstraße zwischen Odessa und der Hauptstadt Kiew praktisch unpassierbar. Hundreds of settlements were without power and more than a dozen roads were closed. According to the emergency services, more than 1,200 rescue workers are managing the cleanup effort. But we made it, so that's all that matters. Hopefully my Airbnb host isn't too upset that we're late. But as you can see, this is the only option to get here today. All right, guys, well, I'm on a marshuka because there's no taxis because of the uh, snow, I guess. So just, I waited 20 minutes until it's up. are still a little bit bad therefore the big uh, demand so the only taxis that were available were like maybe five times the price but for 15 grand this is taking right to the center so yeah why not travel to the middle so interesting to be on this mushroom <laughs> It's like the Ukrainian coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can even see how it's working, yeah. And that's it. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Alright, I just got off my marshuka and I'm going to go for a walk in the snow. 
I know exactly where we are. So it probably doesn't look like it because there's ice on the ground. But <laughs> it is much warmer here than in Kiev. There's also less wind. So I think after uh, today, after all this melts, the so dusty's gonna be a nice little summer holiday, guys. It's gonna be nice and warm and toasty. I might not even need this thick jacket anymore. Well, I guess we'll see about that. But uh, yeah, you can see people already working, already clearing the streets. So by tomorrow, everything will be clean. Hello. My only real regret are wearing these shoes, but they will be dry. And tomorrow, by tomorrow, they'll be okay. I have to get some more trainers. Maybe I should get some kids, some Converse. Be careful here. Aboriginal toot. Toot Aboriginal. I almost slipped right there. She was uh, complaining about something about money, 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 this, maybe the city. I don't know. But I'm like, I, they're doing a pretty good job. Like, I don't see how this is bad. Hello. <laughs> nice and warm and toasty inside. Well, it's snowy and cold. Am I going to piss walk on this? And just because you'll probably never see the street like this again, I'm going to show you the famous Der Bra. Vika Boulevard, Olitsa. And this is what happens to your car if you leave it parked inside of the road here. Not gonna get it back. It's actually not this ice that I'm worried about slipping on, it's like the black ice. That like the one that you don't really expect. I don't know if I'm just like kind of feeling in a good mood because I'm on vacation now, starting <laughs> like, but, or I just like traveling. I just, I think it's in my blood, but I'm not even upset that there was no taxis and that I had to take the marshuka and walk for 10 minutes in the cold and slip a bunch of times. Like, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not complaining. I'm actually, it was actually kind of a fun experience. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad I got to see the city this early in the morning before the snow melted uh, while it's pretty quiet and nice. And I'm already here, staying on the street, like one block from David Roscoe Street. Number seven, if you want to come find me. Please don't, please don't. <laughs> I see some kids to play a snowball fight with here. I mean, this would be perfect for it. But somehow I made it. Here's the park. Oh, maybe it's her. Don't be the end. Tom. Okay. Ah. Don't be the end. Sorry, I'm late. Is it a yeah? Put us the light. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, my balcony's here. Nice. Okay, thank you very much. You guys always bring your own tabachi to Airbnbs. Oh, nice balcon. No smoking. No smoking. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Secret. Okay, just a finger. Um, yeah, machine. Oh, nice wash. Um, detergent, yes. Oh, Gruta. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Even at random Airbnbs. Download speed is only half of it though. I hate countries that try to cheat you and they do a, a fast download speed and then give you a crappy upload speed, but Ukraine is always control. Oh, oh. Was it a Bush, huh? <laughs> okay. So side. Nice of you. Oh wow. Okay, then we go. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Do the diak for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. So they're saying that when there's no electricity, I can't get into the house, so don't use this one. Well, guys, what do you think of my luxury apartment, guys? Right off of the Nebraska Street. It's pretty nice, actually. Like, a really nice renovation. It's actually... Okay, I don't want to complain because it's plenty big, but it's a little bit smaller than I expected from the photos because the photos made this place look huge. But this is more than enough room for just me. So if anyone wants to come visit this next week, I'll be here. One of these... Oh, yeah. That's maximum comfort, guys. I don't know why it was down in the first place. Who's sitting on a couch like that? <laughs> yeah. This is why they, this was so close to TV. I was wondering. But this, this bathroom, it's huge. They were like, you know what? Let's make this as big as possible. For maximum comfort. That's the hallway. And let me know what you guys would pay for this. How much this would cost wherever you guys vacation at. Here it was a lot less than you'd probably think, especially because it's the off season now. It's, it's winter. Nobody's coming to Odessa. Just as be bombed all the time. But yeah, that's all set up, guys. Wow, they, they even have a radiator out here. This is heated. I cannot believe this is heated, guys. Man, I could have that marshuka and got off right in front of my house. Oh, and well, maybe that no one didn't come to the tradition, but but I can't believe I'm heated balcony. How insane is that? But anyways, uh, what's even more insane is I ended up paying twenty five bucks a night for this place. Uh, I accidentally booked it starting yesterday because that was the day I was gonna check out of my place and uh, get on the train, not realizing, but not thinking ahead that. By the time I actually arrived, it would be the next day, which was well, turned out fine because that's why she let me check in at 7 a.m. Even though I got here almost an hour late. Uh, sorry again for that. But it was the train was delayed. There was no, there was no taxi. Like I, I swear, I, lo I looked for a taxi. I couldn't find it. Uh, I would have had to wait 20 minutes for the taxi, and the marshal was right there. And I thought, you know what? Let's just hop on that. So. Here we guys are, 25 bucks a night. Would you stay here? Even with uh, the potential bombings, the snow, <laughs> the uh, potential of having electricity? Let me know. Today's other headlines, Ukraine's southern port of Odessa came under heavy new Russian attacks overnight. Local officials said drones and at least one missile targeted the city's grain warehouses and trucks. An art museum that's part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site was also hit.